is it's difficult. When you say restricted brand, is it the same as a gated brand? And if I'm ungated in a particular brand, can I include that in my bundle? Um, that's a great question. It depends on who restricted or didn't restrict you. So for example, Squishmallows uh, are a big hot trending item for children right now. They're stuffed animals, but they're like in a specific shape and they're really soft and squishy. And every kid between the ages of like five and 12, like absolutely love Squishmallows. Now Squishmallows are not a restricted brand on Amazon. However, you cannot create a brand new ASIN with Squishmallows, even if you're ungated in the brand. So right now I can go to Squishmallows on Amazon. And if a listing exists, a single unit listing exists, I can add mine to the cat. I can sell that item. So it's not restricted as far as that goes. And you don't need proper authorities in order to do that. However, I cannot find a Squishmallow out in the wild and it's not on Amazon and I'm going to add it to the product catalog. Then they say you are restricted from adding new ASINs in this brand. So I cannot create a Squishmallows new ASIN without being without written permission from them. And then they would have to add me as one of their authorized sellers. So I am restricted in adding new ASINs to the marketplace. So gated and restricted is usually the same thing. If you're gated in a specific brand and then you get approval for that brand, um, you could create ASINs in that new brand if you get, you know, if you're if you gain approval for that brand. Um, the, the thing here is, is that you're not listing under that brand. You're actually listing this particular listing was um, Chameleon Colors. That, that's the brand of their survival kit. So could they use a Squishmallow in there? Yes. But could they use the name of that brand in there? Maybe not. Because the algorithm is going to pick that up because you're trying to say that it's both Squishmallows and your own brand and there's going to be conflicts. But those conflicts don't happen for every brand all over the place. So when you say restricted and gated, if I'm ungated in a particular brand, can I include that in my bundle? The answer is it depends. It depends on the brand you're speaking about and how specifically policed their brand can be. And you also have to have proof. So if they say, if this is a restricted brand and you don't have any sort of proof from the manufacturer, from the manufacturer, not the distributor, those are two different things. The distributor is just somebody that sells you product and the manufacturer is actually the one that makes the decisions about those things. So you have to be specific about a little bit more specific about specific brand names. And I don't have a list of all these brand names in which they, that there is. Amazon has one as far as the brands that require um, UPC codes and things like that. So um, it, my, the question, the answer really is it's complicated. And once you have an idea in mind, then you can start digging into whether or not this is a restricted brand or a restricted or gated um, product in general. And then what are the consequences if you do that? If we have 